In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use absolute and relative cell references in Excel. Now, what that means is that if you put a formula in a cell and you reference other cells and you then move that formula, the references to those cells are going to change unless you use absolute cell references. So let me explain what I mean. I'm going to enter a very simple formula here, just equals, and I'm going to equal another cell, cell B2, hit enter. So it equals 237, just like this cell. But now I'm going to copy this all the way down. And you'll notice that this column is now exactly the same as the customer or as the sales column. And that's because the reference was relative. So equals B2 here, B3 equals B4, B5, etc., etc. So when I copy the cell, the cell reference also changes. If I copy the cell to the right, the cell reference is going to change to be equals to C2. And if I copy this column down, it's going to equal the column for customers. Because it's one cell to the right of the original column, it's one column to the right of the original cell, and then continue rows down. So that's the most basic example of a relative cell reference. You move the formula, it's going to change the cell reference. And this can be a real problem. So let me show you how to make absolute cell references. The easiest way to do this is to highlight the formula and go to where the cell reference is. And then put a dollar sign in front of what you don't want to change. So for instance, I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the B and the 2 here. Hit enter copy everything down and it's all still going to equal B2. All of these cells still equal B2. So unlike last time they didn't change and that's because of the dollar signs. Similarly if I copy this to the right and then copy it down it'll still equal cell B2 or 237. Now if I only put the dollar sign in front of the B instead of the 2, you'll notice how that changes. So this time we're only going to hold the column constant but not the row. So if I copy this down, it's going to equal the entire sales column. And if I copy it to the right and then copy it down, instead of equaling the customer's column like it did before, it's going to equal the sales column again. That's because there's a dollar sign in front of the B and not the 2. So the column reference will never change, but the row reference will. If you reverse that, to put the dollar sign in front of the 2, and take it out from in front of the B, as you can imagine, <coughs> it's going to equal 237 here. But if I copy it one column to the right, it's going to equal cell C2. So that's an example of an absolute and relative cell reference. Now, just to give you a little tip, if you have a big formula or you have a lot of uh, references here for cells, all you have to do, double click the cell until the formula pops up and then put your cursor over the cell references and hit F4. You can hit F4 once, twice, three or four times, and each time you do it, it's going to put a dollar sign in front of the two, the B, and it's going to alternate until there are no dollar signs. And that's a way that you can do it very quickly if you have a very long formula of uh, some sort. The last type of uh, cell reference I'm going to show you is how to do a an absolute cell reference with the indirect function. So the indirect function is very simply equals indirect, open parentheses, and what this is, is it's basically an ultimate absolute cell reference. So what I can do here is now quotation, and let's say cell B3, close quotation, close parentheses, and now hit enter. And you can see that equals cell B3. Now, what I can do here is if I copy this anywhere, say copy it down, 
copy it to the right, it's still going to equal cell B2, cell B3. And so the indirect function acts like a, an absolute cell reference. Now the indirect function actually has many more useful uses rather than just uh, what I've shown you here. Um, for example, B3 here is taken as a text string. So that's important if you want to use this in a formula. But uh, I'll go in depth with that at a later tutorial. The point is you can use the indirect for an absolute cell reference just like you can if you use dollar signs. The only thing to remember is basically just put the cell references in between quotation marks. And that's what an absolute and a relative cell reference is and how you can use them and why they're important. Uh, just to note here I only used a very simple example equals cell B2. But I could have used say equals average and then selected a few cells. And all you have to do to make an absolute or relative cell reference is to change the B2 to B3 right here. So put the dollar signs in right there and that's going to give you the difference in the references. So that's how you do absolute and relative cell references.